Hello, my name is Brian Lawfer, Vice President here at QuoteWorks. In this video, we will review recurring groups in QuoteWorks, including the integration with your CRM or PSA and accounting. Managed service providers will use this feature to create hardware as a service or Haas quotes. Recurring groups can be used for almost any product you sell, like phone systems, computers, BDRs, AV systems, and more. This is a great way to lower the upfront costs and objections for your customers, which enables you to better sell the entire solution. In my example today, I'll be using ConnectWise as my PSA, QuickBooks for my accounting, and using QuoteValet for customer acceptance. Let's first configure a new server for our client. So I'm going to go out to products here and find my server that I'm going to be quoting. Oops. Let's go ahead and select Edelize here, and we'll select my server. And let's go ahead and get real-time price and availability here. Looks like Tech Data has it in stock and they have my lowest cost. So I'll go ahead and select this guy here just by double clicking and we'll go ahead and set it to be list price and add them to my quote. Now let's go ahead and add some accessories. And we'll go ahead and uh, upgrade the RAM here. And then get real time price and availability again. And we'll go ahead and select this from Tech Data. We'll go ahead and add two of those. And then we'll go ahead and add a rack mount LCD here. I'll get real time. and add him to my quote. All right. So as you can see, uh, we've got our three items here on the quote. Now let's go ahead and select them and do control G. Um, and there's also a menu option on the edit menu to convert them to a group as well. And from here, we can apply the terms of our recurring group. And uh, so we're gonna convert it to recurring. And we're including that. We'll go ahead and use the contract dates from our document here. Let's go ahead and select an APR. Um, I've got some pre-selected pre, uh, pre ones in here. We'll go ahead and go with a 21% and we'll do that over 36 months. Okay. Lastly, uh, let's go ahead and give this, uh, this group header a name here. We'll just uh, go ahead and say server. And from here, uh, what we'll do is we'll also assign it an item type and part number. So the item type here, we're going to go ahead and say recurring item here. And manufacturer part number is going to be server. And you'll notice that I'm using generic parts um, as contents of, for these groups, as probably these parts are probably going to be changing uh, quite often. So now let's go ahead and bring in a contact from ConnectWise and save the opportunity. So I'm just retrieving that contact information there. Now let's go ahead and set our contract start and end dates. We'll start it today and go out for a year. And save. And I'm just going to create the sales opportunity. And that's all good. Okay, now I'm going to go over to ConnectWise here. And as you can see, uh, we have the recurring agreement inside of ConnectWise here. All right. Now let's give the customer the option to purchase the server up front or pay monthly. As an MSP, you may only want to give them the monthly option to obfuscate the product and service cost to the customer. Remember, you are selling the solution. This is what differentiates Haas from leasing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and select my group and do Control-C. 
and I'm going to do insert paste. So now we've got two different servers on our quote. And what I'm going to do here is do server uh, purchase up front. And then we're going to do server monthly. And basically to make this uh, our upfront cost, what I'm going to do is just double click here. Actually, I apologize. We're going to do P here. And we're just going to remove the recurring option. Okay. And you'll notice that we have different colors now. So the one-time purchase is going to be a lighter yellow. The recurring is going to be a darker yellow. And now because I'll be purchasing the individual items and sending them over to QuickBooks, I'll want to differentiate the Haas items versus the normal upfront purchases. And I'm going to do this by changing their item types. Okay, so to do that, what I'm going to do is uh, for the Haas items here, I'm just going to double click and I'm just going to select Haas for each one of those. And you can uh, go ahead and create a, a pick list here to make those easier here. And for this guy, I'm just going to go ahead and just make it a product. All right, so now we've got our products and we've got our recurring items. And basically from here, we just need to make the group headers optional. We're just going to select each group header and click on the A and do optional yes is selected. Uh, that'll select the server up front as the, the main option here. And now we're going to create an exclusive group and we're just going to call this servers. And you can have multiple selections um, on on your on your quote as well. So you can have server options, you can have laptop options, you can even have services options on your quote. Okay, so we have our quote. Let's present the interactive quote to our client, and we're going to go ahead and do that using Quote Valet. So first thing I'm going to do is save the changes. Um, obviously, I could send this up to um, Connectwise if I want to, but for the pur purposes of this demo, I'm not going to do that. And now what I'm going to do is just click on print, select my, uh, my, my print layout here, and I'm going to upload to Quote Valet. I'm just going to select my template, and we're going to go ahead and do the customer signature, and we'll upload. And this is what the customer would see. So they'll have the option for the server upfront purchase or the server monthly. And you can definitely see that the, the cost objections would be easily overmet by the fact that it's just $183 a month versus the almost $5,000 upfront purchase. Okay, so now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pretend like I'm the client. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the server monthly and go ahead and do update. Obviously, we're stepping through the process quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and agree. And Joe Customer. We'll go ahead and sign. Um, you may or may not want to use the digital signature uh, portion on here. Um, typically, we'll use that if we're working on a tablet um, where they've got a pen that they can easily sign with. And we'll go ahead and click and accept. From here, uh, Joe can provide payment, which we're going to go ahead and skip through that process through the magic of webinars and demonstrations. So what I'm going to do is go back over to QuoteWorks here. We're going to go ahead and close. We're going to go ahead and close out of that, that quote, open it back up, and here we go. It's letting us know that the customer made some changes. It's been one. We're going to go ahead and convert that to an order. It's going to update ConnectWise, and we're going to go ahead and click on Save, and it's going to go ahead and update ConnectWise here for us. Okay, and we'll go back over to document items, and you'll see that we just have the server uh, monthly option on our quote here. Actually, now our order. So now that we have our order, let's follow this order down the sales cycle a little bit further by actually purchasing our items. And we're going to do that is go over to our purchasing here. And what I'm going to do is select our vendor, and we'll select tech data. And if we were actually going to place the online order with tech data, we'd go ahead and select them, place the order, go ahead and, and go through this process, verify PNA. If we've got negotiated pricing, that'll go over to tech data as well. Um, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to click on cancel. And I'm just going to skip right ahead to creating the PO inside of QuickBooks. 
So for these Haas items, I'll want to send them over to QuickBooks as fixed assets uh, because remember, these are your items and not actually your client's items. So these are going to be inventory parts. We're going to have an asset account of fixed asset of uh, Haas, which is a fixed asset account. Um, we'll go ahead and select the appropriate account. Click on OK. These items already exist. They'll they'll go over there appropriately. So these are going to look. If I was to buy these items out outright they'd be different uh, item types inside, I should say, different item names inside of QuickBooks. And our last item. It's that easy to create new items inside of QuickBooks. Okay, and our PO was created. Okay, and let's go ahead now and send this over to QuickBooks as an invoice, so that way we can follow it a little bit further along. Uh, depending on what your workflow is, you may or may not send it over to QuickBooks as an invoice. You may go through ConnectWise or Autotask or whatever you're using as your system. There's definitely a couple of different ways uh, to uh, send invoicing to your customers. So from here, I'm just going to click on QuickBooks. Here's our order that we're working with here, and I'm just going to click on Export. Okay, and we're good to go. So now let's take a look at both the PO and invoice inside of QuickBooks. So we're going to go over to QuickBooks here. Let's first take a look at the invoice. And I'm just going to go over to create invoices here and just go to our last invoice. Okay. So uh, you'll notice that the invoice has only the group header line like we had inside of ConnectWise. And if we go over to the purchase order, you'll see that it actually has all of the individual items that we just purchased. So now let's go ahead and go back over to QuoteWorks to see the QuickBooks setup and to see how the QuickBooks item name was created inside of QuickBooks because you'll notice that we've got the item type and then the manufacturer part number here. So to do that we just go back over to QuoteWorks, go to QuickBooks, go over to Setup, and then go over to Mappings and then Items. And you'll notice that what I'm doing here is I'm actually using the QuoteWorks internal part number, which is going to be auto-generated using a macro. And I'm, I'm doing that with the item type colon manufacturer part number. And you can use almost any macro inside of QuoteWorks to be able to build your, uh, your part numbers inside of QuickBooks. So thank you for taking the time to learn more about recurring groups and Haas quoting inside of QuoteWorks. If you have additional questions on this feature, please feel free to contact us at 407 248 one four eight one.